I love my brother Teddy so much. He used to look at me deep in the eyes and say, are you thinking? And he'd point his finger at his forehead and he would sit there and tap on his head. Are you thinking? He did that so much with me that he actually got a little bump on his forehead that he carried with him his entire life. But he was always asking me, are you thinking? Well, it got me to think. Was I thinking? How was I thinking? What would I be thinking about? And how can I use what I have thought about? What was he trying to plant inside my thought process that I would use as a tool in the growing days ahead? Are you thinking? I know my parents used to yell at me all the time saying, what were you thinking about? Really seriously, what were you thinking about? And then I would have to come up with a story and it wasn't always the truth, but I was just trying to protect who I was and to protect the idea of that what I was thinking about was what happened and what you saw. And I'm sorry that you don't agree with the outcome of what what took place. But if you're saying I wasn't thinking properly, well, I'll agree with you, but I'm the one that's paying the consequences. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today, we are reading from June 17th, 2022. Words move through me at the speed of light. I'm not the only one. You feel them as well. Majority of the time, though, you probably ignore them. You probably just go, meh, I'm going to write this off. I don't need to be thinking like this. If I'm not writing these words down, they're going to be easily forgotten. Now, comedian Mark Marin, he's also an actor and a voice actor. He's on this big kick right now where he is talking about stream talkers. Those comedians that spoke directly from their heart and not from a finely tuned, well-crafted joke. The people we're talking about, Lenny Bruce, Dick Gregory, George Carlin, and yes, even Bill Cosby. Amazing storytellers about the realms of the reality that we all were infected and affected by and how they were able to lead people and still be loved and or banned. People are horrified to use the power of the word here where we presently stand, especially during these days of finally getting back to a live stage. What offends one may not move another. The depth of our sensitivity is at a level of what my father used to call me. He did. He did. My father would say, are you a panty waist? A what? A panty waist? What the hell is that? What, What are you thinking, dad? Let, let me understand, what is a panty waist? Which to this day, I, I, I have no idea what he was trying to say. Other than he was telling me to toughen up. I was looking a little bit too unconfident. I didn't have any courage. I was looking weak in the knees. Words are meant to do everything that the sender intends it to accomplish. Sadly, though, other people get in the way. What are you thinking? What's going through your mind? What do you want to say, but don't have the courage and the confidence to say it? And if you do, are you going to be judged? Are you going to be thrown out? Where are the Lenny Bruce's of the world? The Dick Gregory's, George Carlin's, and the Bill Cosby's? Where are those that had that one thing? They could take what they were thinking and make it work. In the moment of now. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.